Round six of the WNBL, and it was the Melbourne Boomers playing host to the Adelaide Lightning. And while both teams were struggling, Rachel Spawn, we certainly saw a high-quality affair between these two teams. Well, it was hard to pick from the start, and it was still hard to pick quite close to finish, John, but well done to the Boomers. They, uh, it was, it, as I said, both teams off a great start, uh, particularly Adelaide shooting 63% in the first quarter and just saying, right, they've come out ready to play, even backing up after playing last night. And Jess Foley and Laura Hodges combined beautifully in the first quarter to, to get them a great start to the match. But, and as, but as can happen quite often with Lightning, it did start to dry up a little bit uh, towards the second half, and that's when the Boomers started to show their dominance. And they had such an amazing spread of scorers. Rebecca Allen, she uh, had a great second half, but we know that Tess Madgen did most of, the, uh, most of the harm. And Olivia Thompson with 15 points in the second quarter alone. She really turned it on as well. And despite the fact they were a little fragile in terms of having suffered consecutive losses, they didn't drop their confidence when Adelaide made that run early. They stayed with Adelaide, and the longer the game went, the better they became. And in the end, they really did coast home. They certainly did, and uh, you know Guy Malloy kept very calm throughout the game and had great uh, instructions for them in all of his timeouts, and they really followed um, what he wanted to do to a tee. The execution was really great, and Tess Madgen, because she is such a great distributor, she was able to get so many of her, her teammates into the match, but finished so well herself also. And as you mentioned, Olivia Thompson did keep them in the game in that second quarter, but it was uh, Madgen's time to shine in the second half. And for Adelaide, well, Laura Hodges, 16 points, and Jess Foley with 14 did most of the damage. But as you mentioned, so many scoring weapons there for Melbourne, led by Tess Madgen with 22. She also had six assists as well. They got good serves from a number of players. But Tess Madgen, she certainly was the star of the show. And they also will now add Laurie Kane into the lineup as well. A tremendous out side shooter so a three and five record could be about to improve dramatically in the coming weeks for Melbourne and that will be absolutely their aim and, and you're right Laurie Kane is a three-point specialist and so hard to guard and, and great work ethic and a real hard worker and by the sounds of it she's fitting into their program ready uh, really well already into the third quarter, the margin was never bigger than five at any stage in the game before. Melbourne put their foot on the accelerator and coasted home by 17. The final scoreline in Melbourne was the Boomers 78, Adelaide 61.